It's supposed to be a moment What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it One man, one show One you army, really nigga <laughs> I'm a go, God, nigga What? Really, nigga? What's good, cousins? It's that nigga Young Swan Swan. So look, man, in this video, bro, we gonna talk about basically all the gameplay news and y'all gonna hear my opinion about it. If, if you're new to Young Swan, I'm the greatest. I'm the best 2K player. I'm the best 2K YouTuber. I'm the best. I have the highest IQ. So when anything drops, I get hundreds of messages of people asking my opinion on it so what what we're going to do this is what niggas want to see we gonna make about we gonna make a vid about 19 a game that has not came out bitch and we are just gonna speculate and talk about it and i'm gonna talk like a nigga the whole time i'm gonna curse i'm gonna say this a bitch i'm gonna say mike wayne like fuck you nigga like i'm a so if you are sweet in the inside my nigga if you pussy Looking like Kirby and shit, bro. Get the fuck out the video. If you real, make sure you subscribe. Spam the fucking like button. It helps me, bitch. It helps me grow. All, all it takes, it takes you under a second to tap the like button, my nigga. It helps me get recommended. Even though I be cursing like shit. And leave a comment about something, my nigga. You know? All of you niggas. Drop a like on all my videos every time you watch them. Should be getting like 20k plus. I should have 20,000 likes. What the fuck are you doing, bitch? Yeah, come on, nigga. Stingy ass nigga, like the shit. That shit don't affect you. And turn on post notifications, nigga. But look, we got a lot of shit to talk about, bro. So first, Mike Wing has added some Kyrie shit with his little hand. Oh, who the fuck cares? Tear thief dribbling. That shit don't matter. It, it don't matter what dribble moves they add. This, this is what people have to understand. It doesn't matter what you see. What can happen if the burst out the move is slow? Do you understand that? If you flick up for a fucking size up and your guy's like, oh my God, like that shit don't do nothing. Like that, it doesn't do anything. Oh, I, I did this and he was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. That shit don't mean nothing. That your little dribble moves don't mean shit. If niggas not bursting out fast. Like NBA players, the first step. Speed boosting. Skill gap. Speed boost. Goofy. Now flash pausing is a big problem in play now and uh my team. So some guy tweeted Mike Wang, blah blah blah. He said this will be fixed for 2K19. Each pause will take up to 20 seconds so that. You'll have two minutes or six pauses, whichever comes first. Blah, blah, blah. Bitch news. Nobody care. So if y'all niggas been watching my videos, y'all know I've been telling y'all I've been worried about that spin dunk and Euro dunk cheese contact dunk shit. Um, Mike Wayne basically tweeted out that it's not that easy to pull off. Now, let's get to the nitty gritty. Mike Wayne tweeted something out about TakeOver, okay? This basically confirms that the meta is gonna be like on some destiny shit nigga i think like it, it's gonna be like i think it's gonna be cheesier than 2k17 nigga on just like a like a fuck boy level you know a nigga get his fucking his takeover badge and he's just going fucking crazy nigga because look the, listen to what this nigga say bro takeover is like the fire icon and the badge is meshed together when you get hot, you get a plus 12 to primary attributes, plus 6 to secondary attributes. Your badges get boosted, and you unlock unique skills based on archetype. T plus 12 and plus 6 are to be decided. Could change. Now this guy tweets to him. HK 130 Motherfucker. Why the fuck are you responding to these niggas? 
Everyone in this video, please do me a favor. Please message Mike Wang and beg for cross chat in the in-game park system so we could talk to the other team. That is a feature we need, man. It creates price slips moments. We need it. Beg him. Now look, this nigga message this nigga, bro. It's like great system. But if my dunk attribute is 99, will plus 12 help me? This nigga say, we have ways to boost your abilities beyond the 99 cap. Now, I low-key, I low-key knew this. Because in 2K17, say your shit was high, and then you activated a park card or some shit. Or in past 2Ks or whatever. It was like, you're greening at a way higher frequency than, 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 like, you're already at 99. I low-key knew this, but, hey, man, like... What the fuck? You're already giving pure sharps 99. So now they're going to have like 123 fucking shot, nigga. 123 dunk. Like, this shit going to be a cheese fest. That's on everything, my nigga. I don't care what y'all. I'm, I'm trying to tell you, my nigga. <laughs> y'all let me know how y'all feel this takeover system is going to be. You think it's going to be cheesy as fuck or, or not, bro? Yeah, bro. It, sound, it just sounds like takeover, like... There's going to be niggas like just, oh, sharps. Niggas just going to be running around, greening, lockdowns, getting crazy steals, ankle breakers. Niggas going to be just falling, knocking, make, making two niggas fall at once. Like, it, it seemed like that type of game, my nigga. I, I don't fucking know, bro. But my, Mike Wang, basically, he be he be saying on his little weak-ass Twitter, hey, man, it's not, the, it's not as OP as it sounds, and it will be monitored closely. Yeah, shut the fuck up, nigga. You, you... I lost all faith in you, my nigga. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. <laughs> you ain't fixed blow by or snatch back all year. Like, <laughs> terrible gameplay. Uh, designers, whatever, directors, I don't fucking know. Y'all niggas, you lost fucking mind, bro. Now, this one kid, man, he tweets out some shit about jump shots being patched and shit. And then Mike Wang basically says we've never patched jump shots. Now, look. Contrary to popular belief, jump shots don't get fucking patched. I'm saying it here first. Every year, I use the same jump shot all year. Because I'm like, like, nigga, I don't start missing with a shot. The only niggas that start missing with shots are niggas that aren't good at the game. Will you guys open your fucking mind? Like, uh, of course, like YouTubers, okay, they're going to finesse. They're going to say, oh, this jump shot nice. And then they're going to be using it and blah, blah, blah. So, you know, it's, it's just a finesse. You know, whatever. It doesn't fucking matter. But understand this. I use the same jump shot all year. And all, all you niggas see is green light fucking nation. I play live on the stream. Versus comp with bombs. And I shoot better than any nigga you've ever seen in your fucking life. I use the same jump shot all year. You feel me? Especially, especially when I'm warmed up, I'm really not missing. You know, they, these niggas not patching no fucking jump shots. They might change jump shots. They're not changing, like, they either make it easier to hit shots or make it harder. Shit not being patched individually. When you hear someone say that, they suck. That's the, that's the genjutsu. When you, when, they trash. Watch my jump shot videos, bitch. <laughs> but I love all you niggas so Paul Joseph tweeted have zigzags and blowbys been toned down Mike Wang says zigzagging is fixed I heard that before nigga only time y'all fixed it was in 2k15 and low key I like the 2k15 zigzag I know I know it sound crazy like a, I don't know bro like and I, I don't like a lot of cheesy shit, but, you know, I, I liked being able to go, <clears throat> I don't know, the shit was just funny, bro, because you wasn't doing a move, and then you just make a nigga just jump, <laughs> because he wouldn't know what the fuck, I don't know, man, that, that shit just remind me of 15 and 14, bro, so, so bad, I used to have so much fun, but he's saying it's been fixed, I don't know how, unless when you go one way, and then you move in like molasses, like how they did in 15 or 16. I don't fucking remember. 
He's saying blow buys have been completely overhauled. You can still get them in the right situation. Mismatch, blah, blah, blah. Play with well, you clamp ball handle is pretty easy. We'll see. See, what, what, what I'm thinking is you make the tallest ball handling build or center or whatever. You max the weight. And if uh, someone else didn't make a super tall or heavyweight build, you're going to get blow by on. But so everyone just got to make monsters. I don't know, man. I feel like the blow blast still going to be crazy. But y'all let me know what y'all feel about it. Now, this kind of this kind of made my heart twinkle, my nigga. You know, young Red City boy, he tweeted out, how are walking size ups? He says the only way to trigger the worst thing that's ever happened in 2K motherfucking history is to tap the right stick up. You won't be firing them off accidentally in the middle of your crazy dribble combos like last year. Looking forward to your feedback on the changes to dribbling. I'm pretty sure you'll like the new stuff you can do. Oh my god, oh my god. So you know Red City a dribbler and shit. So if he's saying he, uh, I don't know, man. I think this shit just false hope. You feel me? He says snatchbacks are patched. So this one nigga tweets him about defense, right? Mike Wang replies, "Defense is a major focus for 19. I mentioned this before. A good lockdown or rim protector is going to be very valuable this year." That's a lie. If he's talking about the pure archetype, there's no way. There's no way. They will cancel out offensive boosts, get special <laughs> defense stop resolutions, body ups, unique block content, and more. We'll see, my nigga. We'll see. We'll, we'll see, bro. We'll see, my nigga. Y'all think they, they gonna make lockdowns a powerful build, bro? I, ho I just hope it's not stupid. It, it should defense should be amazing in the amazing like 2k 16 bro i'm telling you bro i could clamp niggas without trying my nigga mike wang basically says that shooting is going to be more skill based you know and i don't i'm not sure he knows what more skill based shooting is more skill based shooting is you seeing across the board in your game niggas hitting wide open way more than someone shooting lightly contested basically that's basically skill based shooting mike wayne confirms that stealing with the right stick is back from 2k17 i low-key liked it but yeah mike wayne confirms that you cannot green heavily contested. It's not a guaranteed miss, but it won't fall nearly as much. Head ass, we'll see. So this guy tweets Mike Wang about defense, right? Basically, he's saying that we can make people pick up the ball a lot more if they're fucking ass. You cut niggas off and shit. And he's saying that lockdowns in takeover mode could do it a lot easier than any other position or just lockdowns in general, nigga. And it's all depends on ratings, you know. We'll see. You know, yeah, y'all know how to type, how to get a brother excited. Y'all let me know y'all excited for this game. I don't know, bro. Pump fake supposed to draw more fouls, whatever, nigga. Um, he confirms takeover boost is gonna be 10 plus and then five plus other ratings. I guess because he's seen niggas was like, what the fuck, nigga? Apparently, they reduced three in the key. For Pro-Am and all that shit. So, apparently, going for chase downs, it's not going to be an automatic foul like last year. And, um, yeah. They're saying it's, a, it's, it's supposed to be better. Now, th this is when Mike Wayne starts... Starts tripping, tripping, nigga. Now look, here's my belief about this fatigue system, my nigga. It doesn't need to be in the game. Stamina, I don't care what y'all say, all this realistic shit. Look, bitch. 
were professional NBA players. Professional NBA players can run miles at a time. They can spam dribbles. We're in the park. What, what, what do you think Allen Iverson is going to do in the park versus fucking people in high school? What do you think LeBron James is going to do in the park versus people in high school? When y'all see niggas toy with niggas, that's what you see. Y'all saying all this realistic shit like, that's real. Straight toying with a nigga. You could spam and go crazy. I don't know if you niggas watch basketball, but you know, like when you play comp, of course you're going to hit him with a one-two, ooh, score. But I mean, when you just dicking niggas and niggas is fucking trash compared to you, you just go crazy. It's straight show off mode. There's nothing wrong with that, bro. That you, y'all niggas, you bitch so much. I've never been killed by a spammer. Ever. Ever. I'm good. You understand that? Understand if you're getting killed by spammers, you suck. Understand that that same nigga can kill you in two moves. 80% of the time. Seriously, I've never been killed by a spammer. I literally have the best defense in the game. I've never been killed ISO. I've never been killed by an ISO spammer, ever, ever. See, look, let me give y'all a tip. This applies to life for anything, my nigga. Once you learn how to do something, it's easier to stop it, okay? Learn how to cheese and shit, right? Then you see how people try and guard you and, and like stop you. Then when you find what was successful in stopping you, you apply that to other people. And then you keep learning in a circle. It's the circle of life, my nigga. Anything, you could apply that method to anything in life. You niggas are just trash, bro. You're ruining the fucking fun of the game. Okay? Seriously. Like, skill is not, it's not just IQ based or simple basketball shit. It's stick skill and IQ, okay? Mostly stick skill. That's how it should be. You feel me? If you're better than everyone, it should show based off your fucking stick skill, okay? When y'all, like, there, there's some dumbass NBA players in the world, but their ability, their raw athletic ability is just superior to everyone else's, my nigga, you know? New dribble fatigue model in 19. If you over dribble, your ball control will drop and your moves will degrade in speed effectiveness. So spamming too many moves will drop your dribble tier and eventually cause you to fumble the ball. You need to be efficient with the ball this year. They say that every year. This whole paragraph can low-key be applied to 2K18 because you do drop in dribble tier when you start blinking, my nigga, if you guys don't notice that, because you can't momentum anymore. So you're dropping in dribble tier. It's the same shit, you feel me? Nigga said it played like 18, but I'm just saying, don't think it's gonna be something new. It might be the same shit. Hopefully there's more stamina than 18, and it's not just a Genjutsu to where we have to buy Gatorade. So they're just robbing us for VC, so we're able to dribble in the park. But whatever, bitch. And um, and also he says, one more dribbling note. When branching out of hop gathers, and I heard that you're gonna be able to hop gather like uh, 17 and 16 and burst out that shit. I hope so. I like that shit. Um, he says only tier three ball handlers will will be able to explode out. Explode out like last year. Tier two will be slower, but controlled, and tier one will always fumble. Now, y'all remember that shit I just read, right? He said, like, you're gonna fumble with the ball. I think fumbling is like, y'all remember, like, say you're a sharp, right? And you, like, do a move that you could normally speed boost out of in 17. You know, like, how you do that weird animation? I think he's calling that a fumble, you know? So to where you're not bursting out. But hey, man, that's basically all the news. Make sure y'all stay tuned in, man. I'm going to update y'all on all the news. I'm going to give y'all my opinions about it. Follow young nigga on um, Twitch. I got some hilarious streams. Um, follow my second channel. I'm going to be posting random shit on that bitch. I love all you niggas.
Um, bye.